I'm heading up to Boulder, Colorado today for the Retro Mania Collectible Toy Show. What's happening everybody? Barry back again with another video. I feel like it's been forever since I last posted a video. Life has thrown me a curveball and I needed to take care of all of that stuff before moving forward with other things. I wanted to take you on this trip that I'm going to today. I'm heading up to Boulder, Colorado today for the Retro Mania Collectible Toy Show. I messaged them a few days ago asking if I can film some content for my YouTube video, but I haven't heard anything. So crossing my fingers that um, they'll let me uh, film and hopefully I get to meet some cool people and pick up some collectibles that are missing from my collection. But before I head out, I have to drop off some orders for my retro as a business. If you're interested in picking up the plastic protectors that I offer, there's going to be a link down below uh, to my website or you could head on over to retroasf.com. And as always, if you like this type of content, please like, share and if you haven't done so already subscribe to my channel every little bit helps i will see you in boulder one eternity later i finally made it to the boulder county fairgrounds where retromania is being held and it's much farther than i thought it was going to be i thought it was going to be in boulder um and i was going to be able to visit my daughter who goes to school at cu boulder um but yeah, this is way far. Anyways, let's go right in. Well, unfortunately, I had to mute out the sound coming from the background because they were playing music and I didn't want this video to get flagged for copyright issues. And check this out. This is the DC deceased line. This is a pretty awesome line. I never got to see these in person um, but they look really really cool now on to the next station here and this one actually had some retro game boy games sega genesis games um, i had the original game boy growing up my very first game was super mario land and castlevania all right, moving right along, out of the corner of my eye, I spotted Transor Z or Manzinger Z and a bunch of Transformers G1 or Generation 1 figures. And I don't know why my camera decided to pause right there. Weird. Moving right along, I found a tub full of loose Motu figures. Um, I actually have this one and while digging through the rest of the Motu figures I decided that I had all of them pretty much complete um, so I gave this one a pass I had to go back and look at the Transor Z or Mazinger Z figure I spotted a complete Millennium Falcon and a bunch of other loose figures fortunately for me and unfortunately I did not collect Star Wars figures even though I grew up during the era I just could never get into them there's a lot of loose figures here mix and match Marvel figures, Motu figures, Star Wars. Um, I think I had this TMNT My Turtle Maker when I was a kid. I believe you made little clay figures out of the turtles. And then I come to this table with a bunch of loose figures. We got Motu and i see some thundercats uh, i think that is a custom <laughs> um correct me if i am wrong but right here i see two figures that i need for my collection 
and I spoke to the owner and uh, he was asking a fair price. I was just not ready to spend that much money today. Um, but this is the, I, I believe it's called the fan, fan vote, um, Triclops, and then we have Wondar. Um, these were exclusive to Mattel Creations, and I cannot find them for a good price anywhere. I was just not prepared to spend that much money today. And look, we have Bebop. And actually, this is the 25th anniversary Bebop. It's not the original vintage one. So I had to pass on this one. And check these customs out. These are actually really cool. And then there were a lot of vendors with just pops. Miles and miles of pops. Don't get me wrong, though. I like pops. I used to collect them, but not anymore. And then we have some WWE title belts. I wish I could pick those up. Those are pretty expensive. And then we got a bunch of customs here. Uh, we have a custom Grayskull. Uh, these swords, these power swords, look amazing. And we got this custom painted gray skull with this metallic type of green color. And it looks like I have all of these figures, even the ones in the bucket here. One thing I regret is not keeping the mini comics that came with the Motu action figures. But yeah, looks like I already have all of these. And look at these customs. This too bad with He-Man and Skeletor's face. And then we got Chucky. And over here we have some really, really retro toys. Fire trucks and old cars those die cast cars aren't very retro but these models and trains and then a bunch of marvel figures and wrestling figures look at that we got hollywood hulk hogan and hulk hogan <laughs> and look at these marvel figures these spider-man figures they look great. The boxes, the card looks immaculate. G.I. Joe's. These are the newer ones, the newer G.I. Joe's and Star Wars Black Series. Not really retro, but hey. Now we got these 112 figures. Um, I wish we could have seen them out of the box, but, you know... <laughs> I keep skipping around. We got some Marvel Legends. Again, not really retro, but... Oh, here you go. The Batman the Animated Series. I actually really enjoyed watching that series growing up. Oh, we have uh, Tekken 3. And... Oh, just a... Mix of different figures. Marvel Legends. I really like these Marvel Legends. This is the Ghost Rider that I grew up with. I'm not so much into the new Ghost Rider, but this Ghost Rider is amazing. More Marvel Legends. There are a lot of vendors with Marvel Legends. And DC Multiverse figures. And more Pops. I had to take a look at this TMNT pop. It's just a T t-shirt. 
and then I spotted some TMNT. But unfortunately, these weren't the vintage ones. These are actually the classics, which were reproduced back in 2020 to the present. These are still really cool. Wow, so that was uh, pretty fun. It was a smaller event, but there were a lot of vendors over there. Um, but, <laughs> but you know, I'm, I'm still new to this whole YouTube thing and I felt really uncomfortable filming. Uh, it really took a lot out of me. I'm a, you know, I'm a, I'm an introvert, so it's, it's hard for me to break out of that shell. Um, but you know, I did meet a few, uh, cool people that own businesses here and I passed out my, um, business card to them told them what I do, told them about my YouTube channel. Um, and there were three items that I wanted to pick up so badly, but I was not ready to spend that much money. Um, one of them was the, uh, the fan favorite um, Triclops from the Origins line. Uh, they also have the Wondar that you saw earlier, and Trapjaw, which I couldn't find in the stores. Um, you know when they re-released it so uh i wasn't ready to spend that much money <laughs> i hope you enjoyed this little trip i'm gonna go ahead and head back home and uh, get ready for the royal rumble i predict that cody rhodes is going to win the whole royal rumble this video is probably going to come out after the royal rumble so it's probably no use in asking for predictions but uh, i predict that cody rhodes is going to take the whole thing i hope you like this kind of departure from my usual videos um, and i'll be back with another one if you do like this type of content please like share and subscribe and i got some other videos right here for you to check out and i will see you next time